Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have my February empties. Um, I have a whole big old pile of trash here to go through. So um, let's get started. So first I have a Dr. Till's um, Epsom salt. This is the coconut oil one. This is perfect for this time of year where we're all dried out from running our heat for extended amount of time because the stupid groundhog lied to us and spring is not just around the corner. It's another umpteen years from now. Um, so anyway, we went through a bag of this and we is my husband and I. Um, so definitely recommend the Epsom salts from Dr. Teal's Bath and, uh, Bath and Body. No, it's not a Bath and Body, but it's a Jason... Um, body wash and this is the rose water this is one of my favorite ones that I like to use because it doesn't irritate my skin doesn't make me itch and the rose water is my favorite one so I definitely will be repurchasing as I use up all of my um, other bath washes I have a lot of them to go through so it's going to be a while before I get to repurchase that one then we have just a plain O Epsom salts, and this is from the Equate brand. And um, I like the Dr. Teal's ones that has a little extra in it, like the coconut oil. You know, this is just a plain Epsom salts, which is good if you're needing, you know, to just help to relax, you know, tired, achy muscles. Um, my husband has a lot of um, issues with his shoulder and his arm, so he definitely likes just the plain one, but I like a little extra, extra. So hang on just a little bit because I feel like my empties are kind of going out of frame, so I'm going to adjust myself and then I'll be right back. I see I need to go over this way a little bit better. Okay, I think that's going to work a little bit better for us and um, us meaning um, you and I. <laughs> so um, from Wish Trend, I have the multifunction cotton pads that I ordered off of Wish Trend. And I do like these. They're really thick. They don't come apart. They're really good for putting on um, toner if you like to apply toner with cotton pads. And um, they're fairly inexpensive. There are, some, there are 70 in here, so but you do have to order them off of um, Wish Trend. <laughs> so there we go. Then um, of course, some makeup remover wipes and these are from the Epi brand. I order, or don't order these. I get these off. Okay, Jane, let's slow down. Let's just slow down. Okay, I get these at Big Lots. <laughs> They're $2.50 for a package of, how many is in here? 36, 36 of these. And I really like these. I've been using these for a long time. Y'all have heard me talk about those over and over and over again. I finished up a Cinema Secrets um, brush clean cleaner. I get this from Sephora. Um, I usually buy one of these once a year during the, um, the fr not the friends and family, but the, the, not the spring sale. Oh my gosh, I cannot get my train of thought here the winter sale during November when they do the 20% off sale, the VIB sale. There we go. That sale. It's just, they call it something else now. I don't know why they changed the name of it, but anyway, um, one of these bottles lasts me all year long. This is what I use to spot clean my eye makeup brushes every morning after I use them. And I think it works wonderful and have repurchased it time and time again from Copari. Kopari, Kopari, <laughs> the coconut rose toner. I absolutely love this. This was wonderful. I use this every morning as one of my uh, mini toners that I would use of the morning because I do do the um, skin, seven skin um, Korean met skin method, just meaning I put seven layers of toner onto my skin, but I, a lot of times I don't use the same toner and just do seven layers of the same toner. I will use five to seven different toners each morning. So basically what I would do is most of the time I would just spritz a couple of little spritzes into my hand and then um, pat it into the skin as opposed to just spraying it. But I did like this and I'm going to actually repurpose this bottle because I liked the sprayer on this. And I have some toners 
that aren't in a spray bottle that I want them to be in a spray bottle. So I'm going to put some of those in this and repurpose that. And here's another one that I just featured in a WOW product. And this is not a toner, but I like the sprayer on this. So I'm going to repurpose this bottle also. But it's the Super Aqua Moist Facial Mist. And how I use this was every morning after I did all of my powder um, setting powders, I would use this to kind of spray the face to kind of settle those powders down. And it was really, really good. It helped to kind of add back some moisture back into the face. And I really did like this. This was one of those um, products that was in my Pink Soul box, which is a Korean um, subscription box. And um, I really did like this. And this is really, really inexpensive. <sighs> Gosh, how much was this? Was it like $12? It was very inexpensive and it worked really, really well. And, oh, no, I want to save that one for last. That's because I'm starting to do at the end of my empty videos is I'm trying to do some decluttering. <laughs> we know how all that went on the last empties video. I had like six products I was doing to declutter and I ended up keeping half of them. I didn't actually declutter them. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes this month. Anyway, so um, another product that I um, featured in a weekly wow video was from Caudalie and this is the Instant Detox Mask. I really did like this for detoxing. Um, I kind of felt like it was a little bit too drying for this time of year, but for the summer, this is gonna be really good. I have another deluxe size sample like this that I'm gonna save for the summer, but this was under my sink and I'm kind of gathering products that are under my sink that I kind of tossed there I'm getting them back out and pulling them out and trying to use them up this one only had a couple of uses so I went ahead and finished it up but yes it really did work to help detox the skin so I do recommend that for a detoxing so if you see this as a hundred point perk or a 250 point perk I can't remember this might have been in a 500 point perk, but anyway, it's, it's worth it, I think. Then I finished up a moisturizer, and this is what I was using for the last um, couple months, I do believe. I think I started using this in January. So I used it January and February, which here would have been our coldest and driest months in Oklahoma. And it's the Ultra Repair face moisturizer from First Aid Beauty. You can't go wrong with First Aid Beauty. I mean, it's just kind of like back to the basics. I mean, it's, it's moisturizing. That's what it's doing. It's just basically moisturizing the skin, taking care of the skin. It's not irritating. It's hyperallergenic. It's just basic moisturizing, which is what my skin was needing for this time of year. It didn't need a whole bunch of extra it just needed some moisture before going out and getting in that cold air and then getting into my car with the forced, forced heat, you know, the heater blasting on my face. So this was really good. Plus it was in a pump. So you didn't have to dip your fingers into a tub. The only drawback that I could say to this is that when it came to the end, it was the end. You didn't, you kind of had a clue cause you could kind of feel your container getting lighter but you didn't know when you're getting to the very end of it. But I really did like this. And this was in a, um, a kit that I had bought. And that's why it says, you know, a, not for sale, not for resale, because it was in a kit. But I really did like that. It was perfect for, like I said, for the driest, coldest months that we've had. Um, today is March the 3rd. And you're not going to be able to see because of my windows. But my windows back here, I have... Um, outside these windows is snow. We had snow this morning. So anyway, the grandkids were excited, but anyway, um, from It Cosmetics. Now this is a moisturizer that I used at night. Now at night, I really needed some heavy duty, duty heavy duty, not, not duty, <laughs> heavy duty um, moisturizer because the way my heaters are at night, the heat just blast down on my face and um, this really helped to kind of protect my face from that forced heat once again and this it Conf confidence in a cream moisturizer 
and man I scraped every last drop out of that oh I don't know I might be able, I could probably get another scraping out of that if I tried really hard but <laughs> I really did like this and um, if I didn't have a, a bunch of moisturizers already on hand that I need to use you know if I was completely out and I need to go get a moisturizer this would be on probably my top five that I would want to pick from so okay and then Olaplex love Olaplex I use this every Sunday as a hair treatment on my hair I think it has really really helped my hair to become healthy I do get my hair colored um, every seven weeks and um, I was having a lot of um, hair fallout prior to that and I think it was just because of my age and the hormones getting all kinds of turmoil unfortunately because of my age but I think this has really helped I highly recommend it it is the number three repair and strengthen and it's for all hair types and I'm on my second bottle of it um, for my hair the length of it and everything I only use probably like between a quarter size and a half dollar size and I shampoo my hair on Sunday morning and it's while it's damp I'll put that amount in my hair a freshly shampooed hair and then I'll leave it in for a couple of hours while I'm doing housework and stuff like that and then I'll get back in the shower shampoo it out and then condition it and then maybe I might do a conditioning mask and then rinse that out and then I'm good to go and but I really I highly recommend this if you haven't tried it go to Sephora see if they'll give you a sample of it hopefully you would get enough sample to try it would give you enough for a one treatment but I really like it and my curls like it and that's that's very important because to note because my curls are very 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 picky very picky and there was no um, there, there was no um, getting them used to it there was no um, forcing them to like it <laughs> you know there was no um, yes you're going to use this because you know I bought it and no they, they liked it from the get-go and re really responded well to this product so anyway there you have it um, finished a Mario Podesco facial spray and this one was the one with rose herbs and rose water now how I used this one was I kept this in the bath and as soon as I got through washing my face you know taking off all of my makeup doing my second cleanse I would immediately I had this sitting by the bathtub I would immediately spray some of this on my face and get some of that moisture back into my face in Korea they call it the three second rule where you know within three seconds of you know getting all that done you're supposed to really start putting you know moisture back into the skin they do it once they step out of the shower and I would just do it when I would, you know, was still in the bath. But I really liked it for that one. Um, I have one that's in aloe that I think I'm going to do, use that one for this summer. Um, so anyway, I liked having it there in the bath for that purpose. Oh, I had this one in a weekly wows that I talked about. It's just a little deluxe size sample of the Momode Hydrating Beauty Water in Rose. I absolutely love this. Love this. And I was using it as like a toner step. You could use it as an essence step if you wanted. But it was just so hydrating and just felt so good. Absolutely loved it. Um, once I get to a point where I need to purchase an essence or a toner either one then I'm going to purchase this but right now I don't need to purchase anything I'm really trying very hard to be on a um, a no buy and I've done very very well I I think so in my opinion I I think I'm on 74 or 75 days that I haven't purchased any skincare or any um, makeup so I'm I'm doing really good but this is definitely on my list of things that I want to purchase when I get to the point where I've really worked through some of my supply but I really did like that 
Now this guy I didn't really care for, so this is definitely not on a list of anything to buy. And this was the Ofra Makeup Fixer Spray. It was just in one of those little um, makeup kits that I purchased that had that little um, that highlighter in that I just absolutely love that I just did a giveaway on. But this was in there. I used it just because I'm in the process of really, you know, using my stuff and using things up, but I didn't like it. I didn't like the smell of it. I think that was probably the biggest thing was the smell. Just, just was not for me. So got to try it, but I sure did not like it. Here's another product that I got to try that mm, 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 I wasn't, it wasn't not me that did not like it. Let me just put that out there. It was these curls up here on top of my head that hated this stuff. <laughs> it was the, um, the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser Invisible Oil, the Bomb to Oil Pre-Shampoo Mask. You put this on your hair before you shampoo it and it was this really thick, um, cream stuff and as it warmed up it turned into an oil you put it on you left it on for like 15 20 minutes and then you get in the shower and you shampooed it out my mm, they did not like it at all I didn't like the way my hair performed afterwards it 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 my curls definitely made sure that I knew that they did not like it it was not fun it was not a fun week I suffered a whole week with my curls rebelling for a week to let me know that mm -mm, they did not like that at all. Have a mascara that I finished and this is from Giorgio Armani. Um, very expensive. I won't repurchase. The only reason why I had this is it was in a kit of some kind. It came with a an, an, um, liquid eyeshadow I think it was but this had the most horrendous smell to it that there ever was on the planet earth I think. It was horrible. A very horrible horrible chemical smell but I used it and I liked the way it performed it was really nice the way it performed and everything but that smell and plus the price of it there's just so many mascaras out there drugstore mascaras and inexpensive mascaras that work just as well without that price tag and without that smell so definitely not going to be getting that again Oh, this was a sad day when this was gone. This is from Shiseido, and this I found at TJ Maxx. I wanted to get it when Sephora was doing the VIB sale, but it was just too dang expensive. And then I found it at TJ Maxx for like half the price, so I got it. And it's the um, Shiseido Ultimate um, Power Infusing Concentrate, um, yeah. And basically what it is, it's just a booster. I mean, you put it on before you do your serum and it's just supposed to boost your products that you put on on top of it. And I know it sounds gimmicky, but I really felt like it worked. I really honestly and truly do. And I, I had a samples of it is what got me hooked on it to begin with. And I just really fell in love with those samples. And usually just from using products you know from samples I don't really fall in love with a product you know especially skincare because it's hard to tell from skincare from the samples because you usually don't get enough but this product I did and then when I seen it at TJ Maxx and thought you know, I'm gonna get it because it's like half price you know because a bottle of this this size is like eighty dollars and so I got it and I was like oh I really really like it and I really like the way it performed. I liked the way my skincare performed on top of it. I liked the way my skin looked and now it's gone and of course I haven't seen it since at TJ Maxx. So anyway, I'm still keeping my eye out for it and if I come across it, I, I may buy it. I don't know because then I think, well, I'm really on this no buy, but then I think, well, I don't really have another product that's like that. So I don't know, but anyway. Then from Lancer have the uh, Method Polish. I just talked about this again in a weekly wows. And this is just a daily polish that you use on your skin to kind of help exfoliate and just really help get that dead skin buildup that we get on just the top layer of our skin. And just really helps to get all that washed off and just help to make your skin look brighter and smoother. It helps to, 
um, your skincare work better. It helps to make your makeup look better. And I really do like this. And once I get down again with all of the scrubs, and I really don't think I have a whole lot of scrubs left in my collection right now, that I will probably, when Nordstrom does their anniversary sale, it seems like every year they always do a really, really, really good buy on this, like a really, really good buy on a big full size of this. I might actually get it if it doesn't sell out before I um, get a chance to get it. From um, Charlotte Tilbury, I finished the Wonder Glow. What is this called? The Instant Soft Focus Beauty Flash. It was okay. I mean, I know a lot of people talk about it, and I had this deluxe size sample. I finished it. Um, I finished it. I mean, it was okay. Then for Murad, I finished up a um, Essential C Day Moisturizer that had a, a SPF of 50 in it, so that was good that it had a um, SPF in it, so that was good. It was a good moisturizer. And a eyebrow pencil, and this is from NYX. This was one that I just happened to find floating around. I didn't realize I had one. So I went ahead and finished it, and this is in the color taupe. So that's out of the collection. And then here's another product that I found underneath my sink and it was almost dried out. I'm surprised I really was able to use it. And it's another product from Char Charlotte Tilbury. And oh, every time I say Tilbury, I'm, I keep thinking of the Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> that's why I keep thinking. That's why I keep thinking I'm saying is Char mm, Yeah. I think my battery is dead. Yeah, it's dead. I need new batteries. My little grandson plays with this every time he comes over it's just distracting so when his dad leaves he's not upset this is the enzyme the dual enzyme polish yeah that's what this is um i wasn't that impressed with this and i think that's because it was just about dried up because in my stash i found a full size of this that's not dried up and it works wonderful. I'm gonna talk about that in a weekly wow coming up. So this, I wasn't that impressed with, but that's, I think it's because it was dried up and it didn't work like it was supposed to. But anyway, I finished that. Okay, so that is all of the, um, the empty empties. And now we're gonna talk about what I'm going to be decluttering. And I'm, I don't have any these are definitely going to be declared because I don't have any issues with getting rid of them. And this one is from 100% Pure. It's the Blood Orange Cleansing Balm that I'm going to be getting rid of. And it's because it, um, it, when you use it, it doesn't dissolve. It still, it clumps and I am afraid that with it not emulsifying and not dissolving or turning milky that when it rinses down my drains I have an older home that it's going to really clog up my pipes and gunk up my pipes and I, I don't want to do that this was sent to me as a PR package and I, I don't like it like that um, I can't use it in the bathtub because it clumps up and then it gets in the tub and it floats around I don't like that so I am decluttering that out of my collection. This product here, my daughter gave to me. It was um, in her, oh, what box was that? Her BoxyCharm, is it a BoxyCharm? I don't remember what kind of subscription box she gets, but it's the Bang Beauty um, Gel Eyeliner in the color Chocolate. Now, when everybody was getting this in their whatever it was, I wish I can remember what box she got. It was too dry for anybody to use as an eyeliner. Everybody was complaining about this because it was so dry that nobody could get it on a brush to use it as an eyeliner. So then everybody started using it as an eyebrow pomade to use on eyebrows. So she gave it to me to use like that. And I never 
did really like it for that and now it's like completely I can't even get any on my fingers it's just completely dried up so I'm getting or that's gone it's gone and then the last thing and I don't know if this is really should can be considered as a declutter or if this should could be considered as an empty you guys can let me know I've got hair on it it's this liquid lipstick from Rimmel and I've used it up until it's just become so goopy and that I really can't use it anymore. It's a liquid lipstick. And what it does is when I put it on and it starts, when it dries, when it dries down, it starts cracking. And, and the best way I can explain it is if you've ever seen paint on an old wooden barn and it's cracking and it's starting to peel that's what it looks like on my lips when it dries down. So would you consider that a declutter item or a empties? I mean, it's not empty. I mean, I can still get product out of it, but I can't use it anymore because it's, it doesn't look good when it dries down. And I love this formula and I, yeah, it's the Rimmel. Um, I don't even know what it's called anymore. Tints, color, step one, kiss proof lip color. And this one is in called Kiss Me You Fool. That's what that one's called. So you guys chime in in the description box. Would you consider this a declutter or an empty? So you let me know. Anyway, so that's it for February's Trash Day. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon.